Hey guys, Harrison, welcome back at it once again with another episode of our grid. Let's play. I think we're on episode six now. Um, things are going great right now. Now, in case you are wondering for continuity issues and whatnot, why I've suddenly got ninety thousand pounds. Something I, I kind of mentioned on Facebook and Twitter, and I didn't say it on video itself. I went back and I got a goal on the Pro Toge event, which I didn't get last time around on episode 5. The reason for that is because I want to play through this game and get through the major elements of story mode as quickly as possible. To do that, I may have to go back and redo some events off screen. And the reason why that is I want to get a better variety of content on my videos, as well as, you know, I could be going back and doing the same content over and over again. Because it kind of clashes with the idea of, you know, Basically, people wanted me to up the difficulty, but then expect me to also play through the same event four or five times. You know, it, it's kind of counterproductive. So if that happens, I'll explain during any episodes to obviously to fill in the blanks for anything like continuity and whatnot. So I hope you guys understand that, and I hope you're okay with that. If not, let me know, and we'll talk on that. Um, but uh, yeah, anywho, I did promise I'd do open wheel last time around, so. Let's do it. Donington Park and the Nürburgring Sprint Circuit. 25,000, pretty cheap going. So let's just buy it new. And there's my Formula 1000 car. It's so cute. Look at it. I want to hum I want to hug it. Like, it's seriously so cute. I want one. Anywho. Back to normal rules. Savage. I'm going to turn pro mode off, I think, actually. But, drivers I'll still keep on. But yeah, I'm definitely playing the Savage. But like I've, but like I've always said, um, I do try want to keep this as challenging as possible, but not at the same time where it gets too hard where I don't have to play it. You know what I mean? But I'll always try not to use flashbacks. Harold Airball for Project 1000. Such quite a nice name, actually. If I remember right, these cars are ridiculously fun. Look at them. I want one to put in my bedroom. Like, that would be a, an amazing mantelpiece. Minor contact there. It's also quite because there's 20 of us on track. That could be a problem. Bit on the grass there. Whoa! Better rally cross. See, I don't want to be too aggressive early on, but it seems to be working now. That corner is always so difficult, man, because it's blind over the hill, especially when you're so low down in these cars as well. That can be a problem. These cars top out at about 150, 160 miles an hour or so. Got two laps to try and chase the lead impact. Yeah, they're not a million miles, we're only 2.2 off. But it's a, it's a quick track, so it's going to be about a minute a lap or so. Whoa, guys spun out. I will have that, thank you very much. Whoa! Bit of contact there, luckily managed to save it. Only two seconds off the front six here, off the leader, I should say. Mind you, and these cars are not that quick. That's actually quite a long way away when I think about it. See, being in their slipstream would really help as well. That would get me up the field a little bit quicker because they're all really close to each other. Whoa! Hit somebody there. They're all coming towards that one corner together as well, which probably didn't help. Got the race in line. Let's stay tight here. I think I got him. I have got him. Late comeback could be on the cards here. Oh, he's gotten really edgy there. Oh, bit of contact. We're okay. It's going to be like Senna at the European Grand Prix all those years ago. Was it fifth to first in one lap? 
That was ridiculous when I think about it. There you go, now I'm in the draft. That helps. Oh, snap. Those guys were all too reluctant going through that corner, and I take second. That'll do. Excellent. 54.96 final on that, that's, that's much better. These cars are so small. Like, seriously, you could fit one in my bedroom. Like, if you got rid of the bed. It is a double. They come in handy for certain things. Just saying. I'm surrounded by Irishmen. Oh my god. Second place though, that helps. So I know if I win the second race, I will win the overall title. Who would help if Bobby Norman didn't actually win the next race either? Because that, that whole that last corner was, was carnage. Also, since I unlock champions in my major sponsor now, they, they pay out if I get in the top two, which is quite helpful as well. Anywho, round two. We're going to the Nürburgring. On so Bobby Norman starting second. Ain't that convenient. Of all the times, the, the guy i got to beat is starting second on the grid. How fair is that grid? Like, seriously. Now I've got to go try and beat this guy. Ah, nice part up to sit for already. He's going wide, I'm going to take him too, so that's up to P5. Everyone's going slow around here. Almost lost it there. Take that, Irish! Ha ha ha! This is the sprint version of the Nurbo Ring Circuit, so they cut off that second sector and they did, instead they just bring you around to the second uh, sweeping chicane over here for the back part of the track on the route to the finish line. The track's a little bit longer than the uh, Donington, um, Donington Sprint Circuit, which we just went on, but it's still pretty cool. God, I'm barely hitting 140 lags, I'm going uphill as well. These cars have like next to no power though, but they're still so light, that's why they're still so quick. Like, they, their top speed is like, what, 155, 160, but I'm probably averaging 115, 120, which is, just goes to show you just what kind of ridiculous ratio that is. 1.1 second lead, that's quite good. Two laps to go, I'm just going to take it easy. Not do anything too crazy. Must admit as well, I've never driven open wheel cars in this game with this head camera locked on. It's quite... A, it's quite a nervous experience to be honest because like I said about the grid before a lot of their cars drift a ton so let's be honest in an open wheel car do you ever want to be drifting ever no the weird thing about this about these cars is you can take so many corners flat out because despite the fact they're so fast and so small they also have really chunky tires really low down and they have amazing amounts of grip. It's like I'm, it's like I'm propelling a giant dodger or a giant bumper car. See, I said dodger, it's like ever since I got into the NFL a couple of years ago, I've been talking in Americanisms, it's ridiculous. That was a great lap. Anywho, final lap, looking quite solid. By the way, I did, I did promise I'd, I'd do some shout outs at the end of the episode, so I will be doing that. Um, Thanks to the guys who've been tweeting in. I like to do little things for the community now and again. That's why I came up with Around the Corner, to be honest with you. Um, which has been going wonderfully so far on my channel. I'm really enjoying doing that, actually. I might be doing another Around the Corner this Thursday. I do, I'm do. i thinking about trying to put together one more episode before the Chinese Grand Prix um, this weekend. Um, oh, a bit bumpy there, but we're okay. Looking good. Um... Also, I want to say, I'm, I'm really trying to find room for some Dre Talks at the moment. Um, it's not been my most popular series, but the guys who watch do seem to really enjoy them. Um, I'm not sure what the next game play, game and video for that's going to be, but well, as soon as I know, I'll let you guys know on the Facebooks and the Twitters. Um, of course, you can follow me at Facebook, um, at facebook.com forward slash Harrison on HD as I backside the final corner there. From second to last corner, and on Twitter at Harrison101 HD. I'm very active on Twitter, that's definitely the best way to reach me for anything Harrison related. As I win!
and take the championship in true gangster fashion. This one's for you, Marisol. That was a very, very sexy win. Oh, yeah. Because she, she apparently likes it when I say the word sexy on camera. So, yeah, there you go. You've got, you got two mentions, Marisol. I hope you like that. <laughs> nice! One by six points in the end. And third, third as a team, even though they've only got one driver. Taking every sponsor box for 17,400. And 24,000 European reputation points. One more should put me over the top for the next license. Shall we try and do that now, actually? We made it to 100,000. Keep it up. Uh, okay, we've got Spax, Speronic, and DEI as sponsors. How are we doing for time? Um, let's have a look here. 11 minutes. We've got time for one more. God, everybody's flooding my channel with shoutouts. Like, I, I will do you guys at the end, I promise. Um, let's see. Touring cars? Touring cars. <laughs> Let, let's be real here. You all want to see me do touring cars, don't you? I know you're all furiously nodding your heads behind the video. Yeah. This is my favourite part of playing Grid originally, because the touring cars online were epic. So it's, I think it's only fair if I do touring cars now. And the Chevrolet Lissetti, made famous on Top Gear, is my favourite car in the entire game. Let's do it. Mm. This is going to be fun. Like, there's two touring cars in the game, there's the Chevrolet Lissetti and the BMW 320. The 320 seems to be a little bit more floppy on the handling. This is last season's champ. Of course, you'll be this season's champ. If he's last season's champ, why is he starting in 18th? Anywho, this is this was another track made famous due to the all the touring car that took place on it. Yep, you guessed it. It's the, uh, Tur the the former F1 track, the Turkish Grand Prix venue. Whoops. See, I get distracted when I talk. But yeah, Istanbul Park, which I actually do quite like as a track. It's one of the few tilt design places I actually like. Mainly because it was so free flowing, and that triple right handle was actually quite cool. Only two laps. I've got to kind of hurry if I want to try and win this darn thing. The first corner hiccup didn't help, and it doesn't help all the cars are really quick off the line too. They're all, they've all got like that. It's like they've all got Ferrari's acceleration in F1 packed into every single car. It's ridiculous. Triple left hander of awesomeness. Is this the full track or is it the shortened version? Looks like it's the full version. I haven't got a problem with that. They go around the outside. And it worked! Beautifully. I think the guy was trying to tag me from behind her, which didn't help. Where are these cars going? Where is this dude in the pink going? He's drunk. He's going into full Adrian Sutil mode. Come on, give me a draft, give me a draft, give me a draft. There, it breaks. Oh, ow. Okay, I may or may not have damaged the car. Yeah, I have. Steering. That could be an issue. <laughs> okay, I may have outbreaked myself just a little bit there. Uh, I went full Cal Crutchlow on that corner. It was beautiful. Not. <laughs> God, I'm, I, see, I am better on the brakes. I just went around the, out, around the outside than I do. Can I make it stick? Yes, I can. Oh, I am gangster. That is Lewis Hamilton. That is Alan Prost. That is Sebastian Vettel right there. Only in a touring car. It's not quite the same, is it? Ah, well. Got to mention as well, thanks to everybody who watched the Modo GP video I put up this morning. Um, I'm surprised it's done as well as it's, it has. Because obviously, you know, Moto GP is obviously nowhere near as popular as Formula 1 is and it's much more obscure 
as a sport to cover. It's a bit like people who cover IndyCar, like Elusive Kev. I, de- I really, de- really recommend you follow him if you want um, really good IndyCar coverage on your show, Power Oversteer, which, are, which is really, really good. But well, steering there was a bit whack, but uh, yeah, it's one of those things, it's a lot more obscure, but I'm um, like, seemed to be a really good amount of you who was watching. A lot of people were telling me they were watching for the first time as well, which is really, really good to see. I'm really, really happy that people are making the effort to tune in the Meadow GP and watch with me, and those things make it way more enjoyable. Like, whenever I live tweet during a Formula One race, the guys I tweet with make it way more fun. So I'm really, really glad you guys are enjoying it, and um, obviously more to come as the season goes on. Two weeks' time, they're going to uh, the Circuit of the Americas, which I know could be a bit of a problem when it comes to footage, because I know GP 1011 doesn't have Austin on the calendar, because it's a brand new track. I'm after to end up using Indianapolis three times, <laughs> which is a bit annoying. But, there's the race win. Awesome! One by three seconds, that's, that's quite convincing. Sweetness. Very glad I won that. And I'm leading the teams as well. I mean, a team win, you actually get bonus money for the team wins, which would be excellent. That's not going to happen with only me being the only driver. For now, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. But, uh, hopefully I can keep that kind of performances going and hope for the best that other guys can take each other out and stuff. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are we going around this damn ballpark one more time? Um, reason being is because this is going to be the shorter circuit. Hence why it's three laps instead of two. And this time I'm also starting in 18, which doesn't help. Time to channel my inner black vessel. This is like this is going to be vessel at Abu Dhabi like. Besides the, you see, I've already got the minor contact with Bruno Senna a bit now. <laughs> already up the P13, which is great. See, this is where the short circuit cuts off. It's going to go over the chicane like this. Another left hander, and, then, and now you're on the back straight going over the hill. That's why it's a shorter circuit. You cut out the triple left hander and you cut out the uh, second chicane. A, permanent, a prominent feature on tilt design tracks. Chicanes! There's going to be as many of them as possible on a track. Oh, by the way, I'm so naming this video Black Metal. I've always wanted to use that as a video title. Now's my chance! Whoops. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I said I wouldn't normally do it, but I think on this one, I'm going to use a flashback. Forgive me, guys. It's a one-off. I promise I won't do it again. Oh, God, my windscreen's cracked. It's episode one again. Not good. That helps me in no way whatsoever. But... Let's see what we can do here. Helps I'm way better on the brakes than these guys. That was a lovely pass. A lot of people want me to talk about Grid's AI. It comes to driver AI. The thing with them is, is that the good thing is they are humanized. They do tend to make mistakes now and again. And I do like that. Because, you know, you don't want every AI driver to be a set of viewers. Because my windscreen is now actually gone. Um, but... At the same time, they have no relation sometimes to where you are on the track. It doesn't happen all the time, but it happens some of the time, and that can be a problem. Ooh, almost had him there. I've got to get up to that second pack. Like, I know I won the last race, but I've, you know, I've really, really got to get up there. Like, a top three should be enough, but I don't want to take any chances. Look at this carnage back here. That's the thing, I really need to start watching more touring cars on actual television because those guys never have a boring race. Whoa! Guy lost the tyre. Oh my god! <laughs> I was playing grid for years. I've never seen a guy have a tyre blowout like that before. That's ridiculous. And how am I third all of a sudden? This is insane! And awesome! Come on, Cyril Keefe. Oh, Lanny inside. He's got him. 
Oh, that's wonderful driving, if I do say so myself. Humble Dre. Humble Dre. <laughs> and I'm now leading. Don't choke, Dre. Don't choke. Don't do a crutch low. There we go. Four corners left. Coming up the hill. Looking good. Less than a second up on Tyrell Keefe. Andy Cook third, David Cooper fourth. 160 miles an hour. Down to just 70 for this really slow sequence of uh, left, right, left. Getting on the outside. Looking good. I don't see anybody behind me. No defensive driving needed. And across the line. Clean sweep. You can't see it, but I'm fist pumping right now. Zack Ryder style. I dedicate this video to all my broskies. <laughs> now that's better. Like, finally, I actually learned how to overtake properly. If only I didn't do that in Pro Toge or something ridiculous like that. Ugh, oh, thank heavens. 40 points for the win. And second overall on the team. That's not bad at all. Tick every box on the sponsors. You're too close to the Euro B license. Keep racing in Europe. Not quite enough for the license yet. It's at, at 76. 80,000 gets me the license. So one more European event will definitely take me over the top. Well done, Harrison. Big win. That's the most money you've made yet. Now, now you go. I've got 145,000 in the bank. And sponsors from Advanti Racing, Fila, and Goodridge. Hey, do Fila still make trainers? Like, they must be tired of being like the fifth, like, or maybe even sixth favorite brand of trainers in the world. Like, who buys Fila? Anywho, that should just about do it for the action. Um, so, shout outs. People ask me on Twitter. Okay, shout outs to. Cam Stark, um, Cam Stark, who uh, said hi. I'm um, Stark's Triple Zero gameplay. I'll be, I'll be sure to mention all your links in the description. Um, Cam Stark's, I uh, said so Stark's Zero 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 gameplay, or just Stark's. Um, get cool. Bradley, how are you watching? Bradley, I'll be watching. Um, J Moss GP, um, Moss GP, check him out. Um, Andreas Nino, you may have seen him on episode three of Around the Corner. He was absolutely brilliant. Um, Twenty-seven and zero is a run. Was very, very unlucky not to win. You can check him out at Alf Nino Gaming. Um, sorry, Alf Nino Gaming. That's AF Nino Gaming. Sorry about that. And Anton the Beast HD. Hope, hope you guys are enjoying the series and thank you very much for watching. I'll be back um, for episode 7 very, very soon, probably at the weekend. But until then, I've been Harrison101. Thank you very much for watching. And I'll catch you guys next time. Sayonara.